Good evening from the Plymouth State Weather Center. I am student meteorologist William Henneberg. Thanks for joining me this evening. We have a pretty dynamic weather setup over the next 48 hours. It will be nice and mild tomorrow, approaching 70 degrees, warmest day of the year so far. And then a cold front moves through tomorrow night, ushering some rain and cooler temperatures for the weekend, as well as some gusty winds. So it's going to be pretty interesting over the next 48 hours. We'll start with today. We saw mostly cloudy skies, kept our temperatures down, pretty cool. 55 degrees was our high today. Our low this morning was 30, right about average for this time of year. Sunset tonight, 7.34 p.m. Sunrise, 5.58 a.m. And as of 5 p.m., temperature, we're still at that high temperature of 55 degrees. We're still seeing some overcast skies. Winds are out of the east at 9 miles per hour. And across the state, we're looking at mid 50s in Plymouth and Laconia, some warmer spots, Nashua, Manchester, 62 degrees. Portsmouth, you're staying cool on the coast. Across New England, mid to upper 50s in the southern portion, but look back west, Syracuse, 60 degrees, 69 degrees, excuse me, and they had a little bit more, they had a few more breaks in the clouds today, so they saw a little bit more sunshine, and that got them up nice, and, uh, got them up right around near 70 degrees. But don't get too jealous, we will be close to that tomorrow. Across the country, you can see this dividing line between the warm and cold air. Look at these cold temperatures behind Kansas City, 38. Omaha 37, Minneapolis 33, they're seeing about 5 to 8 inches of snow in Minneapolis today. We won't be seeing any of that. We will be seeing this warm air to the southeast surging up ahead of that cold front. The warm front ahead of that cold front will be moving northward and getting us mild tomorrow. But then this cold air will be pushing through Friday night, so we'll be staying cool for the weekend. Our radar, on radar and satellite, you can see these rain showers hanging right along that cold front. Some severe, uh, some severe rain, some severe storms as well, tornadoes and reports of hail. So there's a lot of energy associated with this storm. We won't see any of the severe side, but we will see plenty of rain. So here's the setup for tomorrow. That warm front ahead of the cold front will push north, and it'll put us in the warm sector of this storm. So it'll be nice and mild tomorrow. But overnight Friday and into Saturday, that cold front moves through. We'll see some rain overnight, but things will clear up for Saturday. It will be sunny, but cooler with highs in the mid-50s on Saturday. So for the future cast, let's time out this rain. By 11.05 p.m. tomorrow evening, it looks like the rain showers will be moving in for most of the area. And by Saturday morning, about 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, most of those showers have moved off to the east, and things will clear up behind it. So not a bad day on Saturday. It looks like most of the rain will be overnight, but things will be much cooler than they will be tomorrow. Temperature-wise, We'll drop into the mid-40s tonight, and by morning at 8 a.m., Plymouth 52 degrees, Concord 57, low mid-50s for most of the area, pretty mild early in the day. And then we shoot up into the upper 60s, lower 70s, kind of a tricky forecast. If we see a little bit more overcast skies, we could stay in the upper 60s. The sun breaks out a little bit more, we'll be in the low to even mid-70s in some areas. But either way, it looks like the warmest day of the year on tap for tomorrow. Another cool thing we can see with this image is, as I move this forward, you can see the temperatures really drop as that cold front approaches from the west um, into the evening hours on Friday. If you can see that, look at that. Those cold temperatures are moving through. And that's, again, about 10 p.m. Friday, about in line with the rain showers moving through. Things will really cool off. So for tonight, 45 degrees is our low. The clouds will break up a little bit. We'll stay partly cloudy. Winds south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. For tomorrow, it will be mild, mostly sunny, but it will also be windy. Winds out of the southwest, 10 to 25 miles per hour. We can see gusts in the 30s. So keep that in mind. It will be warm, but it will also be windy. That wind will continue into Friday night as, will, as the rain moves in. 45 degrees will be our low. Winds, again, 10 to 25 miles per hour with gusts in the 30s, so it will stay windy. Saturday and into your weekend for the extended forecast, could see a scattered rain shower lingering on Saturday morning, but again, most of that rain will be overnight Friday. Temperatures will stay cool, though, as that after in the wake of that cold front, we'll be in the mid-50s for the weekend and early part of next week. And our next best chance for rain looks like Tuesday, but we will certainly be keeping an eye out on that for you. For everyone here at the Plymouth State Weather Center, I am student meteorologist William Henneberg. Thanks for joining me this evening.